Hello guys, welcome to yet another wonderful session of learning with Prep Class. My name is Tutor Olalekon Israel, your Prep Class in this tutor, and I am super excited to have you join me in today's session of learning. Now, in today's session, we will be answering questions 51 to question 55 from the Jump English 2013 past question. Remember, the purpose of this session is to help you prepare for your forthcoming Jump examination. So, Without wasting much time, kindly subscribe to this channel, turn on the post notification so you can be notified whenever we upload any new content. Alright, let's begin. Now, for questions 51 to 55, there is an instruction here. The instruction reads, in each of the questions 51 to 55, choose the option opposite in meaning to the word or phrase in italics. In each of the questions 51 to 55, choose the option opposite in meaning to the word or phrase in italics. Question 51 reads, The plebs can be found in every society of the world. The plebs can be found in every society of the world. The word in italics here is plebs. Who are the plebs? So we have to select the option opposite in meaning to plebs. Option A, elite. Option B, middle class. Option C, politicians. Option D, masses. Now, a pleb is an ordinary person. An ordinary person, especially one from the lower social classes. A pleb is an ordinary person, especially one from the lower social classes. The opposite meaning to pleb is elite. The elite refers to the people who have the most wealth and status in a society. The people who have the most wealth and status in a society. The most successful or powerful group of people. The pleb is an ordinary person. One from the lower social classes. But the elite refers to the people who have the most wealth and status in a society. The most successful or powerful group of people. It is not middle class. The middle class is a description given to individuals and households who typically fall between the working class and the upper class. They fall typically between the working class and the upper class within the socio-economic hierarchy. The middle class. They are not extremely poor. They are not categorized as rich. They are in the middle class. It is not politicians. A politician is a person who is professionally involved in politics, especially as a holder of an elected office. It is not masses. Masses refer to the ordinary people. It refers to the ordinary people who form the largest group in a society. Now, the answer to this question is elite. The plebs can be found in every society of the world. The opposite meaning to pleb is elite. The pleb is an ordinary person, especially one from the lower social classes. Elite refers to the people who have the most wealth and status in the society. The most successful or powerful group of people. So the answer is option A. The opposite immediate to plebs is elite. Right. Moving on, question 52. Remember, we are to select the option opposite immediate to the word or phrase in italics. Question 52 reads, Everyone's condition was appalling. Everyone's condition was appalling. The word in italics here is appalling. So which option is opposite immediate to appalling? Option A, cloudy. Option B, pleasant. Option C, complex. Option D, simple. Now, appalling means causing shock or dismay. Causing shock or dismay. Everyone's condition was appalling. It caused shock or dismay. To be horrific, to be bad and terrible. It is not cloudy. The opposite meaning to appalling is not cloudy. Cloudy means to be unclear, to be easy. The opposite meaning to appalling is pleasant. Pleasant means to be enjoyable, to be attractive, to be friendly, to be easy to like. Appalling means what? To be bad and terrible. Pleasant means to be enjoyable, attractive, to be friendly and easy to like. It is not complex. Complex means consisting of many different and connected parts. It is not simple. Simple means to be easily understood or done, presenting no difficulty. Now, the opposite meaning to appalling is pleasant. Everyone's condition was appalling. Appalling means causing shock or dismay, to be horrific, to be bad and terrible. Pleasant means to be enjoyable, to be attractive, to be friendly, easy to like. So the answer is option B. The 
Opposite immunity to appalling is pleasant. Moving on, question 53. Remember, we have to select the option opposite immunity to the word or phrase in italics. Question 53 reads The man's modern wit is apparent to the entire village. The man's modern wit is apparent to the entire village. The word in italics here is modern. Option A is cutting. Option B, caustic. Option C, withering. Option D, kind. So which of these options is the opposite meaning to modern? Modern means biting and caustic in thought, manner or style. Biting and caustic in thought, manner or style. Now, scathing means witheringly scornful, severely critical to be savage. Caustic means sarcastic in a scathing and bitter way. To be scornful, ironic, to be critical. Withering. Withering is an adjective meaning intended to make someone feel humiliated and scornful. Now, modern, scathing, caustic, and withering are synonymous. Modern means biting and caustic in thought. Scathing means witheringly scornful, severely critical, to be savage. Caustic means sarcastic in a scathing and bitter way. Withering means what? To be scornful. So they are synonymous. The opposite of meaning to modern is kind. Kind refers to being of a sympathetic or helpful nature, to be good in behavior. So the opposite of meaning to modern is kind. Alright, moving on, question 54. Remember, we have to select the option opposite of meaning to the word or phrase in italics. Question 54 reads The war against malaria keeps waxing. The war against malaria keeps waxing. Option A, decreasing. Option B, increasing. Option C, wavering. Option D, happening. Now, the word in italics here is waxing. So, which option is opposite in meaning to waxing? Now, waxing in this context means to become larger or stronger. The war against malaria keeps waxing. It becomes larger and stronger. It is becoming larger and stronger. The opposite meaning to waxing is decreasing. Decreasing means becoming smaller or fewer in size, amount, intensity, or degree. Waxing means what's becoming larger or stronger. Decreasing means what's becoming smaller or fewer in size, amount, intensity, or degree. The opposite meaning to waxing is decreasing. No, it is not increasing. Increasing means becoming greater in size, amount, or degree to be growing. And this is synonymous with waxing. It is not wavering. Wavering refers to moving in a quivering way, flickering, becoming weaker, faltering. It also means to be undecided between two opinions or causes of action. You are wavering. You don't know where to stay. Should I be here or here? You are wavering. It is not happening. Happening refers to an event or occurrence. It also means that an action is being carried out at the moment. The opposite meaning to waxing is decreasing. In this context, Waxing means to become larger or stronger. Decreasing, which is the opposite, means what? Becoming smaller or fewer in size, amount, intensity, or degree. So the answer to this question is option A. The opposite meaning to waxing is decreasing. Alright, moving on, question 55. Remember, we have to select the option opposite meaning to the word or phrase in italics. Question 55 reads. The soldier tribe in their dogged defense of the city. The soldier tribe in their dogged defense of the city. The word in italics here is dogged. Option A is strong. Option B indestructible. Option C classical. Option D indifferent. So which of these options is the opposite meaning to dogged? Now, the word dogged means to be resolute, not giving up. To be resolute, resolved and persistent. Having or showing tenacity and grip, persistence, to be resolute, to be resolved, not giving up. The soldier tried in their dogged defense of the city. They were resolute. They determined not to give up. They were resolved. They were persistent, defending the city. Now, it is not strong. Strong means to be able to withstand first, pressure or wear. It is not indestructible. Indestructible means what? Not able to be destroyed. It is not classical. 
Classical means representing an exemplary standard within a traditional and long established form of style. It represented an exemplary standard within a traditional and long established form or style. To be long established, to be eyebrow. When so something is classical, it is eyebrow. It is long established. Now, the opposite meaning to dogged is indifference. Indifference means having no particular interest or sympathy. To be unconcerned, to be mediocre, to be passionless. When you are dogged, you are filled with passion. You are resolute and resolved. But when you are indifferent, you are unconcerned. You are not interested. You have a mediocre approach to something, to be passionless. So the opposite meaning to dogged is indifferent. Lack of passion. When you are dogged, you are filled with passion. Alright. And with that, we've come to the end of this wonderful session. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. If you enjoyed this video, click on the like button. Do not forget to drop your questions in the comment section. Also, share this content with your friends and loved ones. You can as well check us out on WhatsApp. Check for the link to our WhatsApp group in the description of this video. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of your day.